Let's review some of the characters in Arthur Miller's The Crucible. John Proctor never wavers from his principled stance of being a gospel Christian, an honest man, and a husband devoted to his wife. His one mistake was an affair with Abigail Williams, which ruins his family and causes his death. After he confesses to his wife, Elizabeth, he remains dedicated to mending his marriage. He chooses to maintain his good name and die an honest Christian man instead of shaming himself by living a lie. Elizabeth Proctor becomes the tragic victim of the Salem witch hunt because of a young woman's desire for vengeance. She dedicates herself to her husband John and their children's needs. Not knowing that John has staked his reputation and his life on her unflinching honesty, she lies, stating he isn't a lecher. When he says he told the truth, she realizes she has condemned him to death. <laughs> Reverend Paris is a defensive and paranoid Salem minister who is insecure about keeping his position in the theocracy's authority and accepts the insinuations that the devil's work is thriving in Salem. Abigail Williams is an attractive and conniving 17-year-old girl who had an affair with John Proctor. She tries to lure him into restarting their romance and is refused. Unwilling to accept his rejection, Abigail seeks vengeance by plotting to have his wife convicted as a witch and hanged so John will marry her. Reverend Hale is first of all a sensible man, although he is anxious to prove his expertise as a witchcraft expert. He questions the arrests of good Christian women, and when Proctor and Corey are arrested, he denounces the court. Giles Corey is a farmer who owns 600 acres of farmland and woods. He innocently asks Reverend Hale why his wife, Martha, likes to read so much, and in doing this, accidentally condemns his wife. Trying to prove his wife's innocence, he is arrested for contempt of court. He is crushed to death when heavy stones are piled on his chest. Rebecca Nurse is known to be a steadfast Christian woman who is sent for when a loved one is sick or dying. Anne Putnam accuses Rebecca of murdering her babies through sorcery because 11 of her children have grown to adulthood while only one of Anne's eight children has lived. Rebecca refuses to lie by confessing to witchcraft to save her life. She is sentenced to hang and walks to the gallows with John Proctor's support.